My chicken coop arrived yesterday and this big old thing it took about a week and a half for it all to get here. Not too bad. I do like that they've got numbers. They tell you what it is. But they've got letters on each box. So I'm assuming that's um, telling you which box to open up first. But I love it. I love their packaging. Tells you what's in it. So that might be good. Might not be. As far as like package parents or whatever they're called the people that steal your packages um but this is quite heavy so hopefully they wouldn't steal it um, we're going to get it moved to our spot or i say we i'm going to get it moved to our spot and start unboxing and see if i can build this by myself i'll keep y'all posted a little progress update box one or actually box c <laughs> is complete it took about 15 minutes, which is probably longer than it should have, but I read the instructions about 30 times. Very easy once you got the hang of it um, to figure out um, the pictures and everything. Just kept double and triple checking myself. So there's the beginning of the frame. Again, it's just me building, so I backed up my car to use as a little ledge. Um, an extra set of arms <laughs> but we're getting on the roll the coop is all finished their little perch their food bucket their water bucket I did order the shade that came with it but I'm gonna have to get another tarp because that's just not enough in my opinion but show y'all can get this out of the way. The little door that I can open from up here and let them in and out. Rue has been helping me. The compartment off the back. The little trays. The nesting area. Little tray that comes out and how you collect eggs. Now it'll be a long time before we're using this compartment so it's probably just going to stay open but it'll be a little while before they're out here using all this anyway. So an update on the status of our coop and run and there's Rue up there trying to make herself at home. Oh slipping. You better get a better grip. Rue. Rue. They're not in there. Anyway, y'all. So, the status of our coop and run. The water bin I have to empty every day. Um, it's just maybe because they're so small, it builds up with, water, uh, with dirt. And I don't like it. I don't think it's good for them. So, we just empty it each morning and go from there. I'm still upset about my pole, but I didn't do anything about it, I think, in a timely manner. Whenever the package came, it came cracked all the way over there. My birds are still young, so I don't think it makes a big difference. But I do worry that it's going to be too much if more than a few get on there. We added a long mirror because they seem to really like looking at themselves. I see you. Do you want some attention? Come here. All right, you can you can do the video with me. We also added a little playground area, if you will. Um, my daughter added the pole and a little bird feeder thing that we put their snacks in um, with like tomatoes, zucchini, the um, peanut butter balls and things. And you see that was a bunch of kale that we had left over and we put down in the bottom of it. I do move their feed container out here. Again, they're still very young. They're only like two months old. So I move the feed like this because most of them can reach it, but some still can't in there. And to me, this encourages them to stay over in this area. However, as you may or may not be able to see, they are way out in the back of the farm. And I keep bringing them back and they still wander. 
little water container for out here in case they don't want to go in the run and, and clean it daily also. Maybe excessive, but that's what I feel better with. As far, hold on room. As far as this side of the coop, I use it for storage for right now. So extra food container and then their little bin. And I'll wash it out when it comes time for them to lay. But I just use it as close by storage in case I come out here and they've eaten through all of their food already. The back of the coop. So just washed yesterday and it doesn't look too bad. You see a few are molting and I do leave a small food container in there for them as well. Ooh, go away spider. In my opinion when they're this small they should have food all the time just readily available to them especially we have a little storm coming in so what if they run in while I'm inside and forget to bring them food. They have some there. The tray works beautifully. You'll see that I just cleaned this out yesterday. Like yesterday evening we put fresh bedding in. So chickens poop a lot. But that works well. One thing I built, I did build this by myself, but I find it doesn't line up perfectly, and that's okay because not much is going to fit through right there. But you see, if I really tried, if I was a snake or something, I could really push through right there and get in. My hand can really get around that with not much force at all, and it is locked. This side, not so much. The vents work well. I do wish there was some kind of door back here so that whenever I need to get to the chickens and they want to run in the bottom, I could access it. You see I've put some blocks here because if you don't have the wheels, the chickens can still get out through here and a lot of critters can get in that space. It's wider than it looks. Let's see. Let me move this over. But I couldn't figure out how they were getting out and it's these parts. I do have stakes down in the ground to hold it down. The stairs, that back latch has popped up a few times. It hasn't come disconnected, but the latch has popped up. So I've had to crawl in and do that. You'll see I add an additional tarp because the tarp that it came with was quite small. It only covered here and we, they need a lot of shade. So I added an additional tarp. But it's working out well. I spray it off about weekly again just because I'm OCD about the dirt and things. But you probably don't have to a month and a half in and it looks pretty good. Now the chicks are staying out here in the evening and they pretty much stay out here all the time now. Um, none of the chicks come in inside anymore at this point. Now come winter we may see how that goes. It's supposed to be a colder winter but we're in an area that winter typically isn't bad more towards January and February where it really gets a little more difficult so the front doors are aggravating these even though I added extra securing everything these do not line up that's probably the easiest I've ever gotten it but you have to finagle it and lift and pull and everything and when you're trying to get them in like during a storm or something that's a headache but uh, it is what it is. We bought these um, tarp latches and that's what I use to hold the pins on the side. But I do wish that the door, maybe it was one piece or I don't know, something different. This system, like it just, it's, uh, it's a mess for that. But I still love my omelet. I still love how it works. I love that you can spray it all off. The plastic spray... It's not as easy as they showed, but it is, it's much better, especially for the fact that I clean it every other day. So it's nice that it can just spray straight off. Now let's go wrangle up those chickens. <laughs> 